Hi kids, I hope everybody is fine. So this video is for class 10 student. We were solving sums from chapter circles from ML Agarwal, exercise 15.3. And we have already done till sum number 18. Let us proceed further. In this video, we'll start from sum number 19. For the previous video, you can see the description box for the link. In the figure given below, O is the center of the circle and SP is the tangent. If S, R, T is 65 degree, find the value of X, Y and Z. That is, first of all look, O, S is the radius, S, P is the tangent, which means O, S is perpendicular to S, P. We have done this. The tangent at a point S and from that point S, if we draw the radius, then the two will be perpendicular, which means angle T, S, P or O, S, P, same thing. Angle O, S, P is 90 degree. Now look at triangle T S R. Triangle T S R. Angle sum property. X. This is 90. Plus 65. Equals to 180. Angle sum property. Yes or no. Solve it. X plus 155 equals to 180. X equals to 180 minus 155. That's 25 degree. You got X as 25 degree. Done? First part is done. Second part. Look over here. Just look. Y and X has a relation. Angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference. Angle QOS. Angle QOS will be twice angle QTS. See? Same segment. If an angle is drawn, you know, from a segment on the circumference and from the same segment it is drawn in the center, then angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference. QOS from QS, QTS from Q. Yes or no? Now, so angle QOS is Y and this is 2 into QTS is X. X is how much? 25. So Y is 50 degree. Done? Now look at triangle SOP Y plus Z plus 90 equals to 180 angle sum property substitute the value 50 plus Z plus 90 equals to 180 90 plus 50 is 140 so Z equals to 180 minus 140 Z equals to 40 degree done this is 40 degree this one is 50 degree. The tangent and the radius are perpendicular. Angle sum property. Angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference. Done. Angle sum property. Chha. We'll do 19 part B now. So look at 19 part B. In the figure given below, O is the center of the circle. PS and PT are tangents and angle SPT. Angle S. PT, which means this angle is given to us as 84 degree. Calculate the size of the angle TOS. Okay. An angle TQS. This angle they are asking. Look carefully. Pretty easy. First of all, SP is the tangent. OS is the radius. This is 90 degree. OS is perpendicular to SP. So angle OSP is 90 degree. Done. Same logic. PT is the tangent. OT is the radius. Which means OT is perpendicular to TP. Which means angle OTP is 90 degree. Done. Now if you look at quadrilateral. Quadrilateral SOTP. SOTP. Over there, all the angles add to give 360. Some of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360. Suppose this is X. So X plus 90 plus 90 plus 84 equals to 360. Some of the angles of a quadrilateral, some of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is one, uh, 360. See X, this is 90, this is 90 and this is 84. So X, this is 180 plus 84. That's 264 plus 264 equals to 360. 
which means x is 360 minus 264 that's 96 which means angle TOS is nothing but 96 degree done 90 90 then x plus 90 plus 90 plus 84 is 360 done find angle TQS now look carefully if this is 90 how much is this reflex SOT or TOS reflex TOS will be 360 minus this was 96 minus 96 yes or no the entire angle is 360 so if this angle is 96 this angle will be 360 minus 96 so 10 minus 6 is 4 this is 15 15 minus 9 is 6 264 degree so this is 264 degree centigrade degree centigrade or why did I tell I don't know this is degree okay 264 degree you know now they ask angle S Q T angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference remember see S O T reflex reflex S O T will be twice angle S Q T or T Q S angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference so reflex S O T is what 264 because twice angle T Q S so divide by 2 if you do 132 so angle T Q S will be 132 degree done see angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference if you can draw the diagram like this see angle at the circumference and angle at the center so if this is x this is 2x yes or no a b c o now if these two points are over here Try to understand this figure. If this two point comes over here, yes or no? This is your center. Try to understand. This is your angle at the center, and this is the angle at circumference. This will be twice of this. Same logic. This is twice of this. Not this angle. Don't take x. You have to take this angle. Reflex. Reflex. This will be equal to twice of this thing. Done? Sure. We'll do the next sum, number 20 now. Now look at sum number 20. In the adjoining figure, O is the center of the circle. Tangent to the circle at A and B meet at C. If angle ACO is 30 degree, find angle BCO, BCO, which means this angle, suppose X, AOB, this angle Y, and ABB, suppose this is Z. We need to calculate these three angles x, y, z. Very easy. Remember one thing. We have done this. This was a theorem only. These two are tangent. You know, this is the center. First of all, though, the length of the A, O, C, B. The length of the tangent is same from the external point. Second was the tangent subtract equal angle at the center. It means this angle and this angle are equal and the tangent is equally inclined to the line joining the point and the center which means this angle and this angle are equal which means x will be equal to 30 degree angle ACO angle ACO is equal to BCO equal to 30 degree why because the tangents are equally inclined tangents are equally inclined to the line to the line joining the point of contact the point of contact this was a theorem and the center done this is 30 degree Yes or no? Now look carefully. This is done. BCO is 30 degree. This angle is 90 degree. 
angle C A O, angle C A O, and C B O, and C B O, both are ninety degree. Why? Because A O is perpendicular to A C, and B O is perpendicular to B C. Remember, the tangent and the radius at the point of contact are perpendicular to each other. Done. So this is ninety degree. This is ninety degree. Now look at the quadrilateral AOBC. Quadrilateral AOBC, ninety degree. Plus this whole angle I'm taking as Y. Plus this whole angle is ninety degree. Plus this entire angle. This is a quadrilateral too. AOBC. So this is thirty plus thirty, sixty. That will be equal to three sixty. Yes or no? Sum of the interior angle of a quadrilateral is three sixty. Now solve it. This is two uh, forty. So y is what three sixty minus two forty one twenty degree. One twenty degree. Now look the third part. So this angle AOB is one twenty degree. Angle APB and AOB has a relation. Angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference AB. From the same segment, angle AOB is twice angle APB. See, AB, AB. Yes or no? So angle AOB is one twenty equals to twice angle APB. One twenty by two is sixty. So sixty degree equals to angle APB. So angle APB is sixty degree. Done. Step by step. This is ninety. This is ninety. You got this. This was thirty. This was thirty. Okay, then this is one twenty, so this will be sixty. Angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference. Angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference. Done. Chha. We'll do the next sum now. We'll look at twenty one part A. In the figure given, O is the center of the circle. The tangent at B and D meets at P. If AB Is parallel to CD, an angle ABC is fifty-five degree. Find BOD, which means this angle, and BPD, which means this angle. Very easy. Look over here. First of all, AB is parallel to CD, which means this angle and this angle will be equal. Alternate angle. Angle ABC is equal to BCD equals to fifty five degree. Alternate angle, yes or no? Now, angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference. This is fifty five BCD BOD BD. So angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference. Angle BOD is twice angle BCD. Angle at center is equal to twice angle at circumference. Okay, so angle BOD will be equal to twice of fifty-five degree. That's hundred and ten. Done. Now BPD. We just did a sum like this just now. Look over here. I'll just draw this line properly. Now this angle is ninety degree. Angle OPD, OBP, sorry, and angle ODP, angle ODP. Both angle will be ninety degree. Why? Because OB is perpendicular to BP. The radius is perpendicular to the tangent. OD is perpendicular to DP, which means this is ninety. This is ninety. Now this is a quadrilateral. Look carefully. The last part. B O P D. B O P. B O D P. Sorry. B O D P is a quadrilateral. Yes or no? Ninety degree plus hundred and ten plus ninety plus angle B P D. Angle B P D. That will be equal to three sixty. Sum of the interior angle of a quadrilateral is three sixty. That's two hundred and ninety. So angle BPD will be three sixty minus two hundred and ninety. So angle BPD will be 
70 degree done am i clear so this is 70 degree and bod is 110 angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference and these angle add to give 360 degree done let us do 21 part b now now look at this sum 21 part b in the figure given o is the center of the circle a b is the diameter t p t dash is the tangent to the circle at p if b p t dash is 30 degree calculate angle a p t a p t which means this angle and b o p which means this angle very easy look over here first thing angle a p b angle a p b is equal to 90 degree angle at a semicircle angle at a semi circle yes or no remember this is a circle this is the diameter you draw this is the diameter you draw an angle on the circumference anywhere on the circumference with the diameter then it will be 90 degree so this is 90 degree yes or no which means angle a p b is 90 degree so if you look carefully 90 plus 30 plus this angle suppose x these three add to give 180 that's a straight line t p t dash is a tangent which means can i write x plus 90 plus 30 equals to 180 that's a straight line which means x equals to 180 minus 120 that's 60 degree what is x x is nothing but a p t angle a p t is 60 degree done very easy now the next part so this is 60 degree we got 60 degree okay BOP BOP means this angle now look carefully just look carefully angle if this is circle this is your tangent at this point if I draw a chord the angle between the tangent and the chord and the angle formed in the alternate segment by the chord will be equal. Angle in alternate segment. Now look carefully. This is a tangent. PP is a chord. The angle between the chord and the tangent is 30 degree. This angle and this angle will be equal to. BP forms an angle over here. BAP. In the alternate segment, so I can say angle B P T dash angle B P T dash will be equal to B A P B A P angle in alternate segment angle in alternate segment yes or no so if this is 30 this will be twice of 30 angle B O P Angle BOP is twice of BAP. Angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference. So this is BOP will be twice of 30 degree. That's 60 degree. Step by step. Very easy, sir. Okay. Chal. In this video, we'll keep it till here. In the next video, we'll see the rest of the sum. Till then, take care and be safe and if you like the video, do subscribe and share with your friends.